All right, so when I was in med school looking for ways to get better at surgery, um, some of the most common advice I got was to get kits like this. Typically, these kits come with a silicone pad, a needle driver that probably comes from a lab repair kit that's a one-time use, and a forcep that's useful for grabbing skin. Frankly, these tools discourage me from practicing because they were uncomfortable. The needle driver is small, doesn't fit well in your hand, and it's very stiff, so every time you open and close it, it hurts your fingers. The forceps are really small and poor quality, so it's not good at picking things up. And the silicone pad, it just gets dirty very easily, and there's a lot of resistance when you drive needles through. So over time, you get fed up with how tedious it is to drive needles through and to clean it up after each time you use it. So when we realized that we didn't want to use a silicone pad anymore, and it was expensive to replace them, we decided to look for an alternative. We specifically went to places like hardware stores and Home Depot to try to figure out what we could buy in bulk and wasn't gonna break our bank when we try to practice surgery at home. So we eventually settled on something like this. And it doesn't have to look like this when you make your own. This is just something that we thought captured all the needle angles that we wanted to work on. So it's just a wooden board with nails that are built into it so that it functions kind of like pegs on a pegboard with different shapes. And one day we came across using a hair tie. A hair tie is also really cheap and can be bought in bulk, has the same stretchable characteristics, has a nice soft texture that you're looking for, passes needle through it really, really nicely. In fact, resembles some of the textures and characteristics of sewing cuffs that we use in cardiac surgery. So we bought hair ties and began to use them in our exercises. Whether it's parallel to you, perpendicular to you, or you could put it into shapes such as squares, which can resemble annular suturing orientation.